Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. No nonsense, easy to follow, permanent power guide for Zetsubo no Shima. Let's go. First things first, you need to find yourself a bucket that you can fill up with irradiated water. When you're searching for one, look for the blue glow on the rim. It'll help you spot it. Typically, there's a bucket in the spawn, a bucket in each laboratory on a table or something like that, and further buckets elsewhere on the map, such as by the 115 water pools. So, why do we need the buckets anyway? Well, in each of the two labs on the map, there's a machine that requires you to pour a bucket of water into it. That's what we're going to focus on first of all. Bring your bucket to one of the sources of irradiated water and fill it up. Then, go over to the lab and pour the water into the machine. Now you have an empty bucket, so go refill it and make your way over to the other lab to fill up the other machine. On the way there, if you like, you can take a look at the bunker to see if you still have temporary power or not. Your goal here is to get two green lights above the bunker. Only then can you open the bunker door. If your temporary power runs out, don't worry, just grab some more water and repeat these steps. Once both machines are filled at the same time, you can go back to the bunker and, assuming you have those two green lights I mentioned, you can open the door. There'll be some zombies and a thrasher inside, so be careful, I recommend that you deal with them to avoid any bother in the next step, and you're well on the way to getting the power turned on. You're going to want to enter the bunker, go into the pack-a-punch room, and then turn left. This is the power room on the map, but unfortunately, you can't just hit the switch right away, so follow my lead. Come down into the pool of water in front of the power switch and unblock the turbine. When you do so, a door will rise up and prevent you from leaving the area until all the zombies underwater there have been killed. Remember to constantly bob back up above water level for air, otherwise your character is gonna drown. Take it easy, don't panic, you should be fine. Just bob up, take a breath, dip down, kill the zombies, and eventually, when they're all dead, the door will open back up again. Go over to the power switch and flick it on. Congratulations, you've just turned the power on permanently in Zetsubo no Shima. Hopefully, this no-nonsense guide has been useful. If it has been, then leave a like and let me know, and there will be some tips in the description as well to give you guys a boost in case you get stuck. Thanks for watching, I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, subscribe for more guides like this, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye